Welcome to the Frazzly Report, a short news report by me, Frazzly, the awesome gnome, to deliver your World of Warcraft news. So with speculation ramping up as we near BlizzCon, the floor map has finally been unveiled. Already there is speculation going on. Roe posted a tweet about an empty space in Hall D near the Mythic stage in the Diablo 3 demo area. Stephen Stewart in the thread talked about the empty space in Hall C. Well, I've got news for you. These areas will be used for a new mobile experience demo. So our sources have revealed that Blizzard will be launching a new mobile game called Diabgo. With the rise in mobile recently, Blizzard saw that the world of Diablo would be interesting. They wanted to use the mobile games to promote the Diablo series. And plus, Deckard Kane wouldn't stop talking in the Blizzard offices until they promised to give Diablo some love. So in these games, we will enjoy Diablo on the go, dungeon crawling and all that, and even looking for treasure goblins in the world using systems similar to Pokemon Go. Our very credible source told us that it will sync back to our Battle.net account, and they said they were a little bit more hesitant to reveal this. It will track progress for a yet unannounced Diablo game. Attendees to BlizzCon will be able to play Diablo in the BlizzCon mobile app right after the keynote. Virtual ticket holders unfortunately won't get this experience. They were hoping to, but some technical issues arose in development before BlizzCon. And you may ask why I'm bringing this up on a wild news report. Well, this same source told me that if Diablo performs very well, we will see battle pets launching in the coming years. So there's hope for all of us WoW pet collecting fanatics. All of this news makes me super excited for BlizzCon. Stay a while and play. Well, this has been the Fast Report. Until next time, be awesome. The Frazzly Report is a fan podcast that covers Blizzard games. We are not affiliated with Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. Views expressed by the host and guests are their own. Some of the art, music, and sound effects come from Blizzard games and are owned by Blizzard Entertainment, Inc. No copyright infringement is intended. Want more awesomeness every week? Visit weeklyawesome.com. Weekly podcasts to make your week better. Remember to smile and be awesome. This show is brought to you by Dragon Powered Studio. Find more at dragonpoweredstudio.com.